Kodakot doesn't seem to be with her. Uh, why? Ah, I, 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 oh, no, I didn't come to do anything in particular. Um, no, I don't. Meryl stops in front of the door. She takes uh, metal rods from her pocket. What is she doing? Hmm? Huh? She slides the metal rod into the keyhole. Uh, is she? Wow. Whoa, that was easy. Did you just, did she just pick the lock? Well, then Meryl explains this passionately, without a hint of boastfulness, then puts away her tool and heads inside. Not wanting to leave her alone, I follow her. Uh, what are you doing? Did you forget something? She answers without looking at me and opens a nearby cardboard box. She checks inside ten, closes the lid again. Ah! Plant? Oh. Ah. She must be talking about Shinonome and Koji. I at first thought that maybe Kodaka picked up as much as when then, and she sent Meryl to safeguard us, but no? I Okay, she's worried? That means Kodoko is very chill, huh? She thinks they might try to interfere with us? Performance? Oh. So she felt conflicted about it in her own way, huh? In that case, I should make efforts to bash things up too. I do think so. But I still can't get over it just yet. <sighs> Meryl leaves me behind and heads deeper inside. She must have gone to check the VIP rooms and the private rooms. Feeling it would be awkward to follow her around, I wait by the entrance. After around 5 minutes, she reappears. How was it? I see. Um. Do you think someone might really try to interfere with us, Meryl? Why do you think that? If they want us to pay back that 20 million yen, interfering would it make much sense, would it? Meryl pauses for a moment before replying. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that? I see, so Meryl knows? Damankai's income? The boss knows about this too, right? The drug sales? Uh, I guess so. Never mind. He's the leader of the Amankai. Of course he knows. 
That puts an end to the theory that Shinonome might be trying to keep us quiet to hide his actions from the boss. Well, of course it does. I was naive to even hope for such a thing. The boss is our enemy after all. What should I do? Meryl seems to know a lot more about the internal affairs of the Amankai. She's been surprisingly forthcoming in answering my questions. Should I keep asking and dig deeper? I get the feeling Tatsu would be against that. But the burning desire deep inside me is screaming in agony! I'm gonna ask her. <laughs> Knowledge is power. Does Kodaka know? Yes? Why is that? Uh, then let me ask her in a different way. If Kodaka were to find out, how do you think she'd react? Meryl lets out an exasperated sign, as if wondering why I do ask such a thing. But after thinking for a short while, she answers. ことこは Mm. I heard that the boss told some Kodoko and hides what he's doing because he doesn't dare to hate him? Huh? So silence? What? Mm. Meryl doesn't say a word. Hold on, is she saying he do kill her? His own daughter? He's keeping it a secret not because he's afraid of his daughter would hate him, but because he doesn't want to harm her? Surely he wouldn't. Holy shit. Dealt with. Meryl says the words in her usual emotionless tone. I think I'm starting to understand what that means about Meryl. I get the feeling what I just touched upon is merely a fragment of the darkness surrounding her. I feel a shudder go through my body, despite the fact it's not cold. I see. It could happen. In this world that exists outside of what I see as common sense, the unthinkable could occur. If I spill everything, Kotoko might join our cause. That's what I've been thinking. However, if I speak carelessly, might I end up putting Kotoko's life in danger? Right now, we're the ones in the most danger. We're in no position to consider our people's safety. But... I can't bring myself to be that selfish so easily. Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks a lot. Can you unfuck the door with uh, Melrod? Well, when we go out, thank you. Bye bye. Or not. Uh, goodbye? Mm. Hmm. It's not like she threatened me. She didn't warn me not to tell Kotoko or anything like that. Even so, I feel myself sweating slightly. If push comes to shove, Kotoko will simply be dealt with. From Meryl's point of view, that's all there is to it. That's why she was willing to speak. I really have to got myself... I, re I really have got myself tangled up in a truly terrifying world. It may be a little late for this, but it's finally sinking in. 
Oh, just as I'm about to head home myself, I realize one thing. I don't have the key, so I can't lock up. I'll have to get Tina to come up. I hope she wasn't busy. I lean against the wall and slide down into a sitting position. When will I be able to go back? Back to those ordinary peaceful days I thought were so boring? Will I even be able to? I mean we're going up till the final sentence. No, we're not getting in it. The relaxation just yet. Hi. そうですか。ありがとうございます。目の前にあった。え、何か作業でも別に何も用事はないって言ってた。そうですか。何かおっしゃっていましたか私のこと。気になるなら直接話せばいい。それはそうですが。男も死の目たちには警戒しているって話と。死内を回復したがってるって話も。ジェシーズオーダーマイレディ。そこまで話さなくても。事実だから言った。間違っていたなら訂正する。She's so impatient, like a little kid. Jesus. Understandable. Oh, hey, Rin. Yes. After dinner, Ren comes to my room. When Hina came around to lock the club, we told Ren what happened with Lida over the phone, but she wanted more details. I thought the timing was pretty fishy. Well, yeah, I can... I can imagine. She's still doing a scorching, right? Why did she did, did, did what did what she did did what she did uh, did what? Hiromat did Oh, did what she did get out as, as in the death of a person? But that did not matter as she was never popular. Okay, I, I understand, I understand. Well, I... She has to work harder! She didn't hold back on throwing insults at me either? What? Something about how speaking to a loser like me would lower her value as a so-called popular girl? <laughs> Rin snorts in laughter. I get the feeling she's laughing at both Lita and me, but whatever. I guess we can't count on her earnings. She was big. Bigging and herself, b b bigging, bigging herself up, think she was helping us out. Bigging. Praise or recommend something kindly. Ah, okay. But I'm surprised she agreed to hand over all her earnings. Anako, yareleba ikara. Motomoto kanemoktekijanai. 
Yeah. Are her parents rich or something? The daughter of a doctor is going crazy on sex and drugs. Seeing your parents would be upset is an understatement. I ran into Meryl when we spoke a bit. Kodoka seems wary of Shinonomachu and she's somewhat worried about how we view her. According to Meryl, she's worried about how she can regain her trust. She's not completely oblivious, you know. But I think she'll always put the monkey's knees ahead of ours. She seems to have a pretty strong sense of responsibility, so I don't think it will come to that. I don't know, I haven't mushed your boobs yet. What's with the sudden question? How should I know? Maybe, but getting things to that stage won't be easy. Quite, quit making it sound so simple. If I force her to wash it, I'd do be doing horrible things to her. Uh, this isn't what I meant when I said that. Grin stands up with an exasperated look. Well, no, but... She turns her back to me and leaps through the window. She insisted on getting into a sexual relationship with Kotoka. It seems like all the women in the world are pretty cavalier about schmecks. Then again, I can't afford to offer nothing but platitudes. As much as I keep telling myself that I have to change, I can't quite dispose my sense of normality that I've built up. I'm still half-baked, I'm not determined enough. I'm horny Verzina! If worse comes to worst, I might really be out of options. We're already teetering at the brink. Even if I'm half-picked and lacking determination, at the very least, I want to stand up for myself without running away. Someday, mayhaps. Someday. Oh! This is it! The moment I've been waiting for! Clap, clap, chop, chop! I like the front entrance and to the front door. The door <coughs> rings again. I immediately open the door and receive my delivery. Oh. Oh, you can see. There are two large boxes. I make separate trips for each, carrying them to my room. I carefully unbox them again, unless he's weird enough to actually fuck his own computer. Mm -hmm. I carefully unbox them and begin setting them up, trying to hold back my excitement. All right, done! It's finally here, my new PC! Not a hand-me-down from my dad, but my very own brand new machine! I bought a monitor too? Oh! So I couldn't afford the latest model, but it's much, much more powerful than what I've been using up to now. Now I'll be able to edit videos, stress, and lag free! Started, I, I started it up right away! Alright, it's powered on without any problems. I have to go through the initial setup first. 
I followed the instructions on the screen, and quickly finished setting it up. Now to just let's spare my data and download some free video editing software. Wow, this is incredible! My old PC would drag its heels just opening the web browser. This thing's so smooth! I like the big monitor too. It's easier to see what I'm doing. When I saw the price, I honestly recalled a little. But I'm glad I put all the money I earned towards this. My mom doesn't know I bought it, of course, but she never comes into my room. Even if she did, she probably wouldn't notice the difference. My dad probably would, but he doesn't come in my room either. In fact, he rarely even comes home. I'll get rid of the empty boxes later. Now then, I now get to the video editing software's website and click download. Once everything's ready, I'll start improving the video right, right away. Suddenly, I'm feeling like a huge boost in motivation. Maybe I'll seriously start studying how to edit videos. The last few days have been a real pain, but it looks like I'll be able to enjoy this weekend. Alright, let's do this! A volunteer? Almost as if to dampen my motivation, my phone vibrates for several seconds. It's a me message from someone. Hmm? I can't help but get a bad feeling about this. I do rather ignore it, but that's not n not exactly an option. I let it aside, pick up my smartphone from the edge of my desk where I left it, and look at the screen. The message comes from someone unexpected. It's from Kodoka. Excuse the sudden message without meaning to intrude, might I have a moment of your time? My time, huh? A few days back, I would have replied okay instantly, however... I think for a moment and reply, what's the matter? The message shows random and I receive a reply several minutes later. I felt I had to explain what happened to our day properly. It won't take long, but you'll be able to make time for me. What happened the other day? She must be talking about Koji? Meryl told me Kodaka was worrying about how to regain our trust. I guess she's trying to try trying everything she can to close the rift between us. I could decline, but that probably wouldn't be a good move. Got it. Uh, no problem. Can you make time today? Sure, I can. Around what time will you be free? As early as now, whenever you're ready. Thank you very much, I shall visit you at your uh, residence. Ah, ah, okay. Wait, she's not going to call me? She wants to come here to talk? Another message, I shall arrive in around 30 minutes. Got it, faster than reply, but got it. I suck again. It doesn't look like I'll get any time to relax today either. Oh boy. Alright, uh, I'm gonna end the here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in another episode real soon. Subscribe, smash like, send the like button, make the like button, sit on you, and take care.